Welcome to my channel. Today's class we will focus on cultivating gratitude and opening our hearts, setting an intention for the day ahead. So we begin standing at the top of the mat, feet about hip width distance apart. Spread your toes wide, feel into each side of the foot, so big toe side, shifting your weight inward, then the pinky toe side, outward, and back into the heels. Now pressing evenly through this triangle of the feet, drawing up from the arches. And just notice what it feels like to turn on the foundation of your body. Shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the floor. Take your hands at prayer in front of the chest. Coming to our theme for today, I invite you in to state three things that you are grateful for. So you can say to yourself three times, I am grateful for blank. So three individual gratitude statements. Could be something small like, I am grateful for making it to my mat today or just for taking a short walk, enjoying nature, drinking a good cup of coffee, whatever you want to and whatever you feel grateful for. Let's start moving, circle the palms down, around and up on the next in-breath and exhale, hands meet back at prayer in front of the chest. Two more times like that, inhale, reach up through the arms, exhale, palms press at heart center. One more. Now we'll do three half sun salutations. So inhale, palm circle up. Maybe look up and exhale, fold, bend the knees. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. Breathe out, drape the body forward. Inhale, arms up, come back to Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Exhale, hands through prayer. Now I invite you to restate your first gratitude statement from the beginning of class, really infusing it with our practice and the movement. On your next inhale, reach up, maybe look up. And then let all the air out as you fold over your knees. Breathing in, palms press into the chins or the thighs. Breathing out, melt forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, hands at prayer. Taking two cycles of breath to restate our second gratitude statement here fusing it into the heart area. And repeat, so inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, broaden across the chest. And exhale, release down. Inhale back to mountain pose, hands at heart on the exhale. Calling to mind our third statement and maybe putting on a smile on your beautiful face.
Last time flowing through, inhale, exhale. Lift up and fold. This time inhale half lift once more, heart forward. On your out breath, step back into your version of downward facing dog. So knees can be bent or straight. Let's lift the right leg up to the sky, hips stay square to the floor. Placing the right foot in between the palms, coming into warrior one. So turn your back foot out at a 45 degrees and come up. Make sure you have a nice wide stance left to right, hip width distance or wider. And if you have any knee problems, just come into a high lunge with the back heel lifted. Front knee tracks above the second toe, directly over the ankle. And now clasp your hands behind your low back to open the chest, still keeping your front ribs pulling in, opening in the upper back upper chest. You can either stay here or progress into humble warrior. Bowing forward, right shoulder comes to the inside of the right knee, crown of the head points down and surrender. Legs are active and engaged, upper body is soft. Let go of anything that's no longer serving you here. To come out, let the clasp of the hands go. If you were staying in Warrior 1, join us and place both hands down on the mat. And then step the right leg back into dog. Take a deep breath here, inhale for three. And exhale for three. Let's do the other side. So left leg rises, both hip points point down. Exhale, step through. And the left foot turns out at a 45 degree angle and then lift up into warrior one, arms reach up. Again look that you have a wide enough stance, knees over the ankle. And if you want you can take both hands on your hips to square them, so you get a better feeling for it. Maybe you need to shorten your stance, all fine. And then clasping the palms behind your back again, inhale lift the chest, Abs pull up and in, either staying in this variation or bowing forward into humble warrior if you want to. Left shoulder comes to the inside of the left knee. Let gravity have your head and your upper body, shoulders still pulling down and back, legs active. And release the hold of the hands, palms come to the ground, stepping your left leg back into a dog. Press your arms forward and your legs back, shoulders stay relaxed, maybe bend the knees or straighten them. Slowly walk your feet to the front of your mat for a forward fold. This time allowing yourself to fully round, crown of the head towards the floor. You can clasp opposite elbows or take the hands interlaced behind the lower back again with either straight or bent elbows to invite in some more opening at the heart. 
whatever feels right for you. Think about releasing all the worries from the day. Let them pour onto the floor. Take a moment to be grateful for your feet and your legs and all the journeys they take you on each day. Release the interlacing or the clasp of your hands. Your inhale, half lift, chest broad. Your exhale, fold over the legs. Once more on your own. On your next inhale, we lift all the way up to stand, palms press up, exhale, hands meet in prayer. Make sure your feet are hip width apart or even wider. Turn your toes out and your heels in so that the toes are off the mat, heels on the mat. To come down into Malasana squat pose. If you don't make it all the way down yet, feel free to sit up on a block. Either way, the elbows press into the knees, opening the chest to the ceiling with a nice tall spine. You may be able to feel the subtle but powerful connection with your heart center being in this pose. Once again, recognizing things in your life that you are truly thankful for, no matter how big or small they may seem. They all matter. They all have value. From here we will transition to tabletop pose now. So slightly straighten the legs, stepping back into plank and right away placing the knees down to the mat. If you have sensitive knees like me, you may want to use a folded blanket as padding for the knees. Coming into tabletop and from here walking your arms forward to come into puppy pose. Hips stay directly over your knees, no leaning forward or back. The arms stay engaged, but you can let your forearms come to the ground. The focus here is on melting your heart down to the floor, completely letting go your chest. You could also bend at the elbows and take your hands at prayer behind the neck. Allow the subtle but healing energy of gratitude you've been able to cultivate in your practice begin to wash over you as you surrender here, down to the ground. Come out mindfully, walking the palms back and swing your legs forward. Before laying down on the ground, you can take the blanket, unfold it a little bit and place it right where your head and back will come to make it more comfortable. When you're done, place both feet out in front of you, arms reach forward and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. Draw your knees into your chest, 
wrapping your arms around your shins, taking a moment to feel gratitude for yourself that you made it to your mat today and for all that your body is able to do. Hug yourself, knowing that right now you are exactly where you need to be. Let that go, come back down with the feet. Let the soles of the feet touch now, knees falling out left and right for reclined goddess pose. You can place one block under each knee if the stretch is too intense, on whatever height of the block you want to. Or also if you are having any knee issues, you want to place the blocks under your knees to protect your lower back also. Your hands can go wherever feels best to you, so maybe left hand to chest and right hand to belly, or both arms reach overhead in a diamond shape. This relaxing chest opener really inspires gratitude as you allow the ground to support you and your heart to open. Feel this in your body. If you had your arms up overhead, bring them back down and assist your knees to bring them back to center. You can remove the blocks, pull your knees in for a last squeeze and then slowly straighten one leg and then the other for Shavasana. You can take the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly or let each arm extend near each side palms facing up. You may want to recall your three gratitude statements from the beginning of class one last time. Letting the feeling of gratitude all encompass your whole being and just rest here. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and toes, reach the arms up overhead in a big cat stretch, draw one leg into the chest and then the other, give yourself a squeeze. Roll over to your right side using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat. Keeping your eyes closed and attention inward, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat.
palms come together in front of the heart and may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Fusing in the feeling of gratitude. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. May your life be filled with joy and light. Namaste.